Hi, it's Gabriela Stroy from Poland here. I, today I want to talk to you about uh, spill array formulas uh, that I like to use a lot in Excel. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about here in this spreadsheet is some spill array formulas. So something that was introduced in Excel 365 and something that is very helpful and it makes uh, working on a range of uh, data uh, much uh, quicker. So for so what we can see here is range name when you select this when i select this uh, whole range here it's uh, you can see it's called input range so that we can use this name in further calculations let's imagine that you want to do some further calculations based on this one column so for example you want to i don't know multiply it times two and then i don't know add plus plus 10 to it so you can of course do it the way that that you know you multiply here times two then have to copy it down and paste it throughout this whole uh, this whole column and then you want to add 10 and copy it throughout this whole column as you can see it's always adding this additional step that you have to write this formula here and then copy it down to to the end of the of the column and if the column is very very long and for example it has some breaks in it uh, then it's it's very, very tiresome so since Excel 365, you can uh, do it much quicker by just using spill formulas. So you remember that this range here is called input range. So if we just do input range times two, it like spills the, the, the formula doesn't result in one cell. It results in this whole vector that you can see here. So you can quickly just multiply the whole column by two and then reference to, to this output by either selecting it again or just typing this cross check at the end of the of the address as you can see when I'm typing the hash here it's uh, it's selecting this whole output here uh, and adding 10 here so you can very quickly if you have like consecutive columns and hundreds of columns of uh, of different transformations that you want to do it it really makes the work much quicker and you can do many magical things thanks to this. When you uh, exercise a little bit with these easy examples, then there is like a whole new Excel <laughs> opening to you uh, thanks to, to this spill array formulas. In regular spreadsheets, uh, I usually use it with combining it with some other uh, array formulas. So I usually start with the unique, it's also a new formula, unique numbers from this input array, input, from this input range. And then I get, as you can see, only one, two here and one of each. So it's like the same uh, thing that was done previously with remove duplicates, but now it's dynamic. So it dynamically changes when you uh, when you add some new numbers here, as you can see, this, this range here is getting longer and longer. So usually I use it combining something like this. So I either start with uh, creating this uh, unique list and then I'm working on it. So, you know, for example, when I want to, to make something like a pivot on formulas you, where you have a lot of data that you want to aggregate by some name or by some location or by something, uh, then you can dynamically aggregate. Then you can uh, first start with this unique and then you want to uh, again uh, do these formulas that I was doing here. So for example, you want to, to I don't know, multiply this whole data that you, were, uh, that you had here by 1000 because you want to change the, uh, the units or you want to multiply it by some exchange rate because you want to, to view it in another foreign exchange. This is usually how I use it. So I start with this unique or by sort, and then I get a calculation that is smaller or in another, or it's ranked in a, in a different way and is dynamic to, to some changes that you do here. So if you like start to delete the numbers here, they, your whole workbook is also moving together with this input. So yeah, so one of the parts of this this whole case was to calculate how many points uh, you will get from some random combination of items in a, in a strip that you can see here. So you get this combination that you can see here and you have, uh, it's some generated randomly and you have to calculate how many points the user will get from uh, from this combination. And here you can see that diamond gives uh, 100, 7 gives 70, and so on, and so on, and so on. And another um, rule is that if you see two items of the same category, then you don't just summarize them. So it won't be just 60 plus 60 plus 100 plus 
dollar fifty plus uh, plus thirty, but it will be a multiplication of these two values here. So first, I'm just using some simple XLOOKUP that is translating these balls into points. Uh, so uh, this is the table here. Our score won't be just the sum of this, which is one hundred. Uh, but it will be uh, 300, sorry, but it will be this plus this plus this times uh, this and uh, and 100. So it will be uh, 3,718 total. So uh, in order to do that, you had to make next steps to transform these uh, into some next steps. So yeah, I, I could have used this array function that I'm using in the last step, uh, even a step earlier. But okay, but what I'm doing is I'm I will be counting how many each of these points is in this range here. So we can see that there's one 100, twi two times there's 60, 150, and one is uh, once there's a 30. And the formula that the rule that I was talking about earlier is just that you increase this number of points to the power of number of times this item is on the list. So you will have just 100, it's one, it's one, then it's here is, uh, it should be zero. So it will be, uh, it should be changed. Uh, when we have zero, then it should be, uh, then it should not be one, but it should be zero. And then you have uh, 60 to the power of two, it's uh, 3,600 3, and so on and so on. So instead of doing it again, as you can see here in another uh, formula that is uh, how many items long, it's eight uh, columns uh, wide. I was tired of uh, doing the, the formulas uh, and copying them to six or eight uh, columns uh, to the right and, and remembering how many columns it should be. I used an array formula, so a formula that is written only in this um, in this cell here. You can see that it's not here; it is inactive. It's shown like an inactive formula, and you can write some here, some something here, and it doesn't like erase the formula here. It just destroys it. Uh, but but it's uh, but yeah, it's it's a formula that is written here uh, in one of the cells, and it's. The output of this formula is um, eight columns wide. So instead of writing this uh, this formula and copying it uh, eight columns to the right, I just wrote uh, a formula that, that gives the same uh, results, but is is just one formula that will be like dynamic to to if you change number of this whole spreadsheet was designed to be uh, to be ready for a change like this that you can, for example, add. Uh, new items to this list and new items to this list. It will be like forever. It will be um, dynamically changing and uh, it's becoming shorter and wider, uh, dependent on the number of items on this list.